When you live in a foreign country where English isn't the official language, life can get pretty interesting and you're bound to find yourself in a lot of awkward situations. As a foreigner living in China, there are four categories of people you're most likely to encounter. Let's take a look. Number one, the ones that stop and stare, wondering if you speak Chinese. She's just staring at me and laughing. Ni hao. 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 Chishiba? Oh my goodness, wow! Chishiba, wow! What the Baba is Chishiba? I have your Baba. Yes, yes, you have your Baba. I have Number two, the ones that just start speaking Chinese to you without knowing whether or not you can understand them. Number three, the ones that first ask you, can you speak Chinese before starting a conversation with you? Number four, if you remember correctly, I said they are Four categories of people you're most likely to encounter and so far i've mentioned three well i guess you just have to watch this video to find out the fourth one hey you guys welcome back to another video okay if it's your first time you see me then hey my name is uche obekwe and i'm a nigerian youtuber who currently lives in china First of all, you guys, can we just, can you appreciate this shirt? Like, I love this shirt. I hope you guys are seeing it well. It's just so cute. Maybe I should open the button. This one, I, I buttoned up like pasta. Yeah, I think it's better now. Because of my love for you guys, I will spare you the torture of listening to me rambling on and on about my love for this shirt, okay? If this is your first time on my channel, what's up don't make it your last if you want to see this beautiful face again or you know my content then please do not hesitate to click the subscribe button join my family you guys and please turn on your post notification bell so that each time i upload a video youtube will just be like yo 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 your girl which just uploaded a video rush now and go and watch it okay and remember to like the video leave your comment and yeah let's go see what today has in store for us as you guys can see, I'm all dressed up. I just have to wear my shoes, carry my bags, and I'm off. Today's not really such a bright day, but see, we don't need the sun to feel good, okay? We'll make ourselves feel good by ourselves. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking every So I got into the cab, you know, normal, normal and sat down but for some reason i decided to speak english because i wasn't in the mood for chinese a few minutes later wait 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 you're good you're good can you hear me i'm now in my car and i see a white man a white man he's very tall oh this is the first time i see a white man oh <laughs> you guys, this man was just sending a voice note to somebody about me, and he was, but I could hear him, right? So basically, this man was talking about me right in front of me without caring if I could hear him or not. So I think as a category, I'm going to give him category number four. Those who talk about you without caring if you can hear them. Anyways, Chinese people talk a lot. If you don't know this, know it now. This man knows that I'm sitting inside the car. He could not wait to gist whoever that he's carrying a foreigner in his car, in his car and that the foreigner is very tall. So now that this man had established the fact that I could hear him, I, I could speak Chinese, he finished me with questions, okay? Let's have a listen. 
讲 gender， 我来中国之前，我跟我跟我的男朋友，我们两个就分手，所以我我没有男朋友。你的男朋友是非洲的还是哪里的？呃，对，我的前的男朋友是，呃，你知道这个非洲是一个就不是一个国家，所以他是我的国家的人，尼日利亚。你你你们国家叫什么名字啊？尼日利亚，你知道吗？没听说过，那是你觉觉得非洲是一个国家还是一个州？非洲它是整片嘛，它是很很多国家嘛。对，有很多国家，对。你但但是你现在在在不要找男朋友啊？我不要。为为什么不要嘞？我为什么要在这里找男朋友 ？You can use what Chinese people do. Once you they see you, they start telling you to stay back in China to get married in China to get Chinese husband or boyfriend. They tell you not to go back to your country. <laughs> 我习惯的是非洲的男孩。<laughs> 你你你你不喜欢中国男生啊？不是我不喜欢中国的男生，我就我已经有老公啊，所以。You guys, at this point, I had to tell this man that I had a husband because he was just telling me to find a Chinese husband, a Chinese boyfriend, and I was like, "Do you know what? I'm married. Leave me alone." And he was like, "Yeah, even though I'm married, that you know, my husband isn't here with me." Blah blah blah. And I was like,、ah, "Which kind? Of, what kind of man is this?" I now I can't see another man. I want to see them. No. I have my husband. In my heart, I have my husband. Yes. 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 因为因为你老公不在你身边啊。我们天天会说话啊，现在在手机也有视频，我们天天就会呃说话，用视频说话。他会发给我图片，我就会看他在做什么，他今天吃什么等等等。但是说实话，我很想我的老公，但是我明年可能回回家，就回家看我的家人。I just want to point out that most of the conversations that happen in this video is strictly for content purposes. It's just me making conversations. It's not real. I have no husband. I'm not married. And I later told the taxi man that I was joking with him, so he's fully aware that you know I was just playing with him. Can you guys see my mischievous smile? At this point, I was just laughing and having fun because it was very interesting to hear this man's reply. You know, me telling him that I had a husband in Nigeria, and yes, he was convincing me to find somebody here in China that will, you know, rub my back and I rub his own. And I was like, ah, ah, hey, God! But yeah, this is why I love conversing with locals. You get to, you know, hear different perspectives, practice your Chinese, and just have fun. Who says forty-five people are not reading? 可能是我已经，比如说我二十二十五岁的话，我结婚有孩子等等，那我现在要开始读书，没有这样的人吗？有的呀，所以我说我是四十五。二，你说的二十多岁哎，结婚有小孩。对，二十五，二十二十五岁结婚，有三个孩子，然后呢，我就现在觉得我要开始读书，我想开始读书。你呀、啊，你你你要几个小孩？三个小孩啊？对，三个小孩子，一个男孩，两个女孩。小孩在哪里啊？在非洲啊？对，他们现在在非洲，跟他们的爸爸一起。我一个人在这里。Guys, I'm telling this man that I'm 45 and <laughs> and that I'm married with kids in、uh, in Nigeria, in Africa. You you just look. Ah, 对，我在做视频。You don't believe me? I don't look 45. I'm telling you to guess how old I am. You also want to see. 我是开玩笑，开玩笑。你看，我喜欢开玩笑。知道，知道，你这个很开朗啊。<笑>我喜欢开玩笑。I've been having a really, really good chat. He's a very, very good fellow, jolly good fellow, and I'm always up for a chat with you know friendly taxi drivers. A few minutes later. Guys,、okay, so this is what the restaurant looks like. Wow. Okay, they're roasting the dog in there. I found a picture we took many years ago. When I said to you we would never grow old. Messages I've saved that I never. Hey guys, so this is what we. Sorry, you know I'm a vlogger, so <laughs> making videos.
so guys i'm actually not sure i mentioned this but i had a lunch date with my friend so yeah this is what the restaurant looked like it was a beijing restaurant and that's why we have this opera stuff on top and yeah my friend is very shy so yeah she didn't want to show on camera so the taxi man and i actually had a very mm, sensitive conversation so i thought to add that here you know for you guys to hear what a lot of chinese people think about africans <laughs> So yeah, that is pretty normal when it comes to conversing with some Chinese people. They start asking you very awkward questions about life in Africa or telling you, you know, negative stuff about Africans, which always puts me in a very uncomfortable situation. I just want to say that there are good people in African countries. There are also bad people in African countries. There are good people in China. There are also bad people in China. There are good things about China. There are also bad things about China. Why do people always focus on the negative when it comes to Africans and Africa as a whole, as a continent? I'm not sure why that is the case, but I really want us as Africans to start telling our own stories. We need to own the narrative. We need to tell positive stories about Africa, about who we are. And yeah, that's the only way that we can change the narrative. You're doing, ma. You are. <laughs> okay, you guys, you want us to snap. And yeah, that brings us to the end of a very random escapade featuring me and a Chinese taxi driver. I hope you enjoyed watching. So stupid. You guys, if anything, I try to tone down myself on YouTube because uh, I think typically I have a very hyper personality. And if you don't know me well, you might be like, ah, what's wrong with this girl? Is this girl okay? So actually try to tone down myself on YouTube. Anyways, if you're still here at this very point, thank you for sticking around. You're the real MVP, okay? If you're yet to subscribe, please, please subscribe. Join my family, like the video, and leave your comments below, okay? All right, bye.